You know what, uh, it, well, first off, hey everybody, Eric here with just Eric Personal. Um, you know what shocks me? Um, well, sort of. It actually doesn't shock me. It does, but it doesn't. Um, I know that people are going to try this. Um, people try and say, uh, things about, you know, where it says that God flooded the earth. They try and say that, uh, it, it, that you know, that they try and ask uh, me, you know, and throw me off guard or whatever. Okay, why, why did God feel regret? If he's God and he knows what's going to happen and stuff, why does he feel regret? That's what they say. Well, yeah, God knows all. He does. Okay? God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit do know all. Um, almighty, all-knowing, all-powerful, and always present. Okay? Um, regret. Feel sad or disappointed over something that has happened or been done. Um, a loss or a missed opportunity. Um, that he had not seen. Anyway, so something that has been done, it says, okay? Um, people, when they, you know, uh, when, when the world got flooded, um, okay, people were living in extreme sin. I mean, their, their hearts were extremely just not right, okay? Um, now, yeah, you know, Everybody here on earth, every person here on earth is a sinner today, you know, but, um, anyway, it, I, I mean, why wouldn't God feel sad when people mess up? For all of sins and fall short of the glory of God, okay, so when we mess up, it hurts God. It says that in the Bible that, that God doesn't like sin, okay? If God didn't mind it, he wouldn't have sent his son to die for our sins. Right? Okay. Um, so, you know, to be like, oh, you know, God had regret, and it says he's all-knowing and all-powerful and always present. And, and everything like that. Yes, he is. Okay? There... Y'all forget that there are different meanings to, uh, to each word. There are a bunch of meanings to each word. Okay? Um... It, it, and... People always want to try and pick the wrong meaning, it seems like, when it comes to the Bible. You're playing with fire. Okay? I'm just warning people, you're playing with fire when you do that. Okay? When you're trying to, you know, say whatever you can so that you can live like you're living and just, you know, you, you don't want to believe, that's dangerous. I, I mean, I can't make you believe. You can go ahead and do what you want. But don't try and change the meaning of things in the Bible. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Okay? Why wouldn't God flood the earth when people, you know, when people had tons of chances and they refused to turn away from their sins? They refused. Okay? God, you know, God warned Noah, hey, this is what's going to happen, build an ark, okay? Um, and Noah warned people, okay? Earth got flooded. I don't see the thing, you know, I don't see why people are like, oh, well, why would God do... Okay, God... You forget that God is a righteous judge. Okay? God has to judge us. 
Okay? God is loving, forgiving, um, gracious, merciful, and everything. But he's also a righteous judge. It would be against who he is not to judge us. Okay? It, it is... I, I, I mean, God has to judge us. Okay? We are sinful human beings because of Adam and Eve. Also, something else that really bugs me is that, you know, someone, you, you know, and not only one person, but multiple people actually say, you know, they're like, you know, they, they try and say that God made the concept of sin. No, God didn't. Adam and Eve ate of the forbidden fruit and brought sin into the world. Okay? God in his infinite wisdom, you know, God knows all. God knows what could happen, what did happen, what, you know, I mean, God knows everything in every way for, I mean, just everything, okay? God said don't, but they did. They're at fault. Don't put God, you know, in that position, okay? You're playing with fire, don't do it. God told them not to do it. God told them don't eat of this fruit. God didn't tempt to them, okay? It didn't happen. Satan tempted Adam and Eve. God is amazing, okay? And you're playing with fire if you say, okay, well, God did this, God did No. God didn't, okay? God can judge his creation. It's his creation. Who are you to say that he can't? Why are you trying to play high and mighty and say that, oh, well, I don't understand why, why God would judge his own creation? It doesn't make sense to say that God shouldn't do it because God should. It's God's creation, and, you know, if God's creation chooses to mess up, then God needs to judge righteously, and he does, okay? God gave his creation free will, okay? He loves us, and he wants us to be able to choose, you know, him, or whatever, okay? It doesn't mean, you know, just, uh, I mean, it just baffles me beyond belief, you know, that people are like, well, you know, well, I messed up, so, you know, I'm going to blame somebody else. None of these arguments work. None of them. Okay, so... Alright, love y'all. God bless. Take care. See ya.